Okay, this is how to set up and connect the Shabbos Keeper for GE refrigerators. This particular model is GNE27JYMFS. It's a French door, as you can see. Uh, the side-by-sides have a very similar setup process. The connection port will be slightly different, as you can see. The French door is on the top, and the side-by-side, -side, it's uh, near the bottom. So, basically, for the French door, it's connected right over there. Now, when you first turn, connect the Shabbos Keeper, and one more thing I should mention is to make sure that you do this for the first time at least 24 hours before Shabbos or Yom Tif. Otherwise, you uh, may encounter issues. You're going to press Enter. This is the center key is the Enter. Okay, you can go up, down. It's flickering just due to the... Uh, uh, phone that I'm using, but you can basically toggle between like this. Okay, when you're done, you press enter. Okay. You're going to enter the time, same idea, press enter, enter your state. Okay, let's find state here. Here, let's say California, enter. Okay. You can scroll between cities. Now, just by the way, if your city does not show up, you can still actually enter your latitude and longitude. You probably have to find that in Google, um, where it says city not listed. You just click that and you can enter that. Um, for most people watching this video, your city will show up. Most of the Jewish communities are listed on here within the United States. Now, right now, it's showing the time and date that I set. Very often, what will actually happen is, is it'll say updating software. Your refrigerator may turn it on and off a few times. It usually takes five or 10 minutes. Sometimes it can take a little bit longer. And then if you see that for a few hours, it just keeps on saying updating software, generally they recommend that you should unplug it and plug it back in, and then it should work. In any situation, if you see it says something on the screen, error XX05, sorry, error, error X005, 99% of the time that means that there's some type of new water filter or something else with the software that's new and you won't be able to see the time. However, in both situations, whether you can see the time or whether it says an error, 90 minutes before Shkia for every Shabbos and Yom Tif until 2050, you will see two candles on the screen the lights will either dim inside or they'll turn off and Shabbos mode will be activated automatically. Now, this actually has also a magnet. You can put it over here, you can put it on the side just for convenience. Now, just one more thing to show you. Generally, I would not recommend changing any of the settings. You might mess something up. However, if you made a mistake in the time, date, and location, or if you're, let's say, transferring it from one refrigerator to a different one, or uh, in certain situations, if it's an extended power outage for, I believe, over 72 hours, you might have to do this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hold down these two buttons, hold it down until this shows up. And then you can actually go to new setup and start the whole process over again.